History tells us that on the night of July 14, 1881, Pat Garrett shot and killed Billy the Kid in Fort Sumner, New Mexico. But is it possible that Billy survived that night? Some say he did. Hey guys, I'm in the small town of Heiko, Texas, in search of Billy the Kid. Let's check it out. In 1948, a man by the name of Joe Hines contacted a lawyer to get land that his deceased brother had. Eventually, Joe Hines admitted that he was this outlaw named Jesse Evans who had thought to have been killed or just vanished from public. And that got them talking about the Lincoln County Wars. And of course, the subject of Billy the Kid came up and Jesse Evans said, in fact, Billy the Kid is still alive and living in Heiko, Texas. So what did they do? They came to Heiko to find Brushy Bill Roberts, AKA Billy the Kid, and that's why I'm here. Here's all the mini Billy the Kid movies. Outlaw Cattle Drive, and there's Brushy Bill, a.k.a. Billy the Kid. There's a thing asking, was Billy the Kid shot in New Mexico? That's pretty interesting. And these were all the crimes that he committed. Here's some articles. If they wanted to exhume the body of Brushy Bill. These are all pictures of Brushy Bill. It's a little TV program that they did, a little segment on Brushy Bill. They're doing a lot of changes in here, so I can't get to everything, but it's not just, just about Billy the Kid in here. There's a lot of history in here, too, a lot of old war outfits that people wore and military things and guns. There's the front and the very back is the museum right through there. There's some more Billy the Kid stuff. Little pictures. There's a book about how about Brushy Bill and Billy the Kid. And the people here are very, very, very nice. I was just talking with this lady and she was, hey, it's Southern hospitality, Texas style. Look at this cool mural right on the wall. This is so old school style. Right on the side of the building. 
these buildings probably date back to the 1800s. Reach for a star. Star Tobacco. Little alleyway right there. Whether Brushy Bill Roberts was actually Billy the Kid, I don't think that really is important right now because this town, Heiko, has got some notoriety because of it. And a lot of people come here just to check out the museum and they want to go to the town of Billy the Kid. In fact, they've done a few stories on it. Um, Unsolved Mysteries had a story, Bill O'Reilly, and I'm thinking the Discovery Channel is fixing to come here uh, in September, so that's pretty cool. Whoo, it's a hot one here in Texas, in Heiko. I'm walking around this town and it is so hot. It's like probably 95 degrees, sweating. I should have worn shorts, but I did not wear shorts. So forgive me for being out of breath. Look at this statue right in the middle of town. Billy the Kid. It says Billy by James Rice. Rice Galleries. There's the Opera House, the 1895 Opera House. I'm in the inside of the Opera House. I was looking for an original picture, but don't have one. Here's the original stairs. This is pretty cool. Oh my gosh, it is burning up up here. It is burning up. So supposedly this is where they did the opera. I'm afraid to step through the floor. Look at this. It is hot up here. This is where they said they used to do little plays and what have you. Guess these were the dressing rooms. Please do not fall through the floor. I don't know. It's freaky up here. Anyway. The indoors. The opera house. One interesting movie trivia if you watch Young Guns 2 you know Emilio Estevez was Billy the Kid At the very beginning the old man that's being interviewed is Brushy Bill aka Billy the Kid that's pretty cool Inside the Star Trading Company, they have a little exhibit. What is this? Is this a vault? Oh my gosh, this must have been a, a vault. I've been down, so I'll bust my head. Yeah. Keep all the money right in here. Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back? Here's some old pictures of Heiko. The, the one to the far left, right there, boom, is the one I'm in right now. And if you notice, that little mural right there, 
that's on the side of the building I got that in the video it's pretty cool here's Heiko many many years ago here is from the second floor of the Opera House that building I was in notice how it looks way different now because they had a fire and some other stuff but this was the second floor of that Opera House I got a little makeshift U.S. post office up here. Are these actually letters to Heiko? I don't know. How do I get in there? Hello? Here, I want to get some mail, guys. I got to get my mail. Oh, I'm tripping over stuff. What is all in here? Keep. You got got this these are checks I don't know it's real dark back here so the lawyer got a hold of brushy bill and you know they did some tests brushy bill supposedly had a lot of the same exact scars that Billy the kid had the same kind of wounds they did some trivia, or not trivia, tested him on facts about the Lincoln County Wars and who was involved in the wars and stuff like that. He was supposedly ambidextrous and he spoke Spanish. I mean, he, everything about Billy the Kid. So a lot of people really thought, you know, maybe he didn't get killed by Pat Garrett. I don't know. The old Midland Hotel. Probably late 1800s. I've eaten here once. Pretty good food. Next to these buildings, which I don't know, but I do love the signs on the side. This whatever they call the murals or whatnot. And they're closed. Oh my gosh! I've been shot down trying to get inside. Maybe you just look through the window. Can you see inside? That's that. Just imagine, years ago, these little trees in the, in the middle were not here and it was just dirt, horses and carriages. Cars were not even a thought, or maybe they were a thought but they weren't being driven around like today. They have really decorated this town pretty well. It looks pretty nice. It all has a certain western vibe. I really like it. There's the Billy the Kid Museum. Ollie Brushy Bill Roberts. A.K. Billy the Kid died in Heiko, Texas, December 27th, 1950. He spent the last days of his life trying to prove to the world his true identity and obtain the pardon provided by the governor of the state of New Mexico. We believe his story and pray to God for the forgiveness he solemnly asked for. Hey guys, I encourage you to check out Billy the Kid. Check out Brushy Bill. 
do some research yourself and come up with your own ideas. Was he Billy the Kid or was he just a guy that wanted some attention? I don't know. But you do the research. You figure it out. You come up with your own ideas. In the meantime, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and you always stay up to date. And I will see you in the next video. Billy the Kid. William Henry Roberts, a.k.a. Billy the Kid. Born December 31st, 1859. Died December 27th, 1950. There it is, Billy the Kid. We got bullets. People left bullets here. Money. Altoids. Dr. Pepper. Dying of heat, heat exhaustion. Mm, it's hot out there. Woo!